I would love to present to you the Anvil Carrick. I'm on the PTU today, so a little bit of a change from normal. But I wanted to present to you this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. First off, I just want to point out our current velocity. 1,233 meters per second. It's a very quick ship. In fact, you're going to be able to outrun a lot of fighters. Now, granted, you're not going to over, you know, outrun them quickly because your change in vectors is slow, very slow. She's a big girl. She's heavy. Um, there's not much you can do about it. I'm going to get back up into orbit here, and we'll do a little bit of maneuvers and show you how she performs. But again, you can see very easily it's a big ship. The outside. Look at that flight path vector. She really wants to go planet side. You got the four big engines in the back. You got some retro thrusters in the front. You have a couple of turrets. These two side facing turrets, top turret, bottom turret. Top turret is a remote turret that I'm hoping someday they'll let the pilot control. Again, you know, you're not going to be able to dogfight with this ship, but at least if they're stupid enough to stand in front of you, you'll be able to at least take a shot or two at them. And it's, you know, there's a million videos online. I'm not going to do a review of the ship itself as far as the interior. It's You've been swamped with them. If you're looking at Star Citizen, you've seen a ton of these. What we're going to cover today is how the ship handles, how it lands, how it flies in and out of atmosphere, its acceleration, its stopping and whether or not, again, the cockpit layout makes sense. And in this case, I'm going to say they did a smash-up job in the cockpit. I am a huge fan. All right, so back into the inside. Let's back off and balls to the wall here. And let's see how long it takes to decelerate. So this is just straight up, throttle to idle, let her slow. Let her slow. Let her slow. Do you think she's got some momentum? So basically what I'm showing here is flight model wise, it's a great ship. It really and truly is. But don't expect a dogfight with her. You're not going to. It's a heavily armored ship. It's one purpose. Have a thrust opposite direction to slow us down. Come to speed, bleeding off. So right now we're flying backwards, using full main thrusters, trying to slow. You can just make out the fact we're moving backwards. It's going to take quite a while, even using your full engines. This is not a ship you're going to be fighting in. You know, don't don't look at this ship as. I mean, I'm not gonna say it handles like the Starfarer, but it uh, it definitely is mass similar to the Starfarer. We're gonna just slow down and try to get back to SCM speed here. And again, if you don't remember, that's basically combat maneuvering speed for the specific ship. You go above it and you you pay some penalties. Alright, so we'll do an orbital loop here. Let's pitch up to zero. There we are. Let our flight path vector come up to join it. Give it a little boost to help. This is going to be a loop in orbit. You'll notice the pitch is actually pretty quick. She's got a really good pitch control. But you're going to see as we come back to zero here, still definitely overshoots by almost 20 degrees, which again is expected. And you'll see the flight path vector is a little off, but it's recovering. We'll go some yaw now. There we go, recover. Not bad. 
So stronger on the yaw than on the pitch. And the roll is actually pretty impressive. It's slow to get started. But then once you get it started, it's pretty quick. But then it's hard to stop. This is off. I'm using opposite plenty here. Finally stopped, and we'll roll back to level. Try to level it off. So again, this is a good ship. You're going to want to fly very similar to the Starfarer. It handles well, though. Better than the Starfarer, but not, not great. All right, let's look down here in our hands. Let's put some yaw in. So roll. Yaw. Same thing as we've seen in some other ships that I don't agree with. Roll and yaw share the same axes. It's almost like a little detent. You give it a little bit, and it's just yaw. And then you give it a lot, and then it's roll. I mean, I don't, I don't agree with it. I, I want my feet to be doing my yaw, or at least twisting of the stick. And then obviously pitch is going to be as you would expect. Let's see if we can get in the angle. Yep, push, pull. So as you'd expect for the pitch. So control-wise, it's very similar. I'm going to set this in cruise. A little bit of a climb. Exit the seat. And we're not going to do a full bridge tour, but I'm going to show you what makes me so excited about the ship. As far as from a pilot perspective. you got your pilot seat here, and you got your co-pilot seats. Notice they have full controls. And then up top... We have another command section here that you can fly the ship from. So you don't quite have you know as much information, you don't have the MFDs, but you got one heck of a view for flying your ship. And, and I I can't argue with it. This is you'll remember me pointing at the Starfarer, pointing at the constellation, etc. saying, why do I have this large multi-crew ship and only one place to fly from. We finally have more than one place to fly a ship from, which makes me just ecstatic. You know, I mean, this ship, you bring down the landing gear, it articulates down to these large landing struts. I mean, it's a truly massive ship. And it handles like a truly massive ship. Right, let's get her into atmosphere. Um, who's going to be on the day side? No idea. Let's try this one. I think this one will be on the other side. Exterior view because it's pretty. You can see those maneuvering thrusters firing. Oh, we're not quite on the day side. We're close. This is a ship you really want to pay attention to your flight path vector. You gotta pitch up to bring it up. Or else you'll quickly fly yourself, find yourself flying into the dirt. Let's see if we can quantum somewhere else on the surface. Eh, just in the interest of time, we'll go ahead and do the atmospheric here. Alright, so we're at our maneuvering speed. Pitch up to zero. 
We're at 11,000 meters. We're higher than we have in our other tests. We level off as we're still trying to descend. You really got to be careful with this ship or you will hit the ground. So here we are at about zero. Altitude stable. We'll do yaw to the left in atmosphere. Hold an altitude pretty well. There's 180 degrees around. We'll use that as a reference point. And we will now, as the speed comes back to SCM, and notice the hydrogen fuel is already at 85%. We're using a lot of hydrogen fuel. That's a big ship. It's taking a lot to keep her moving. Alright, flip around. Pretty darn good. There we are, about level, so we lost about 600, so pretty similar to the Caterpillar as far as that goes. And again, the roll, like I said, pretty good rate, but you got to stop your roll almost a full 180 degrees before you want to stop it, actually, maybe even 270. Alright, now let's do the other test I like to do, the aerodynamic test. Here we are at zero. I'm going to put her in a 90 degree bank. And let's see what that nose does. And again, another case of we're completely perpendicular and you can see those thrusters firing, keeping the ship level. How I think these ships should be flying as spaceships in atmosphere. So I think it's doing very well and I think they did a good job of it. Um, like I said, this is my favorite ship so far, as far as the handling makes sense for the ship of its size. The cockpit layout makes sense. The fact more than one pilot can fly the ship makes sense. You know, just about everything about this ship to me makes sense and makes me happy as a pilot. Um, you know, it's a really, it's a great looking ship. You can't argue that. The landing gear... Yeah, this is an exploration vessel. You're supposed to be landing it in rugged terrain. That I have a problem with. I mean, this is not a ship you're going to be able to land just about anywhere because just they're short, they're stubby. So I'm not happy about that part. But the rest of the ship, as far as flying, she handles well for her size, and as I would expect for her size. We're going to come down in the dark and bring her for a landing. And then we'll end the stream there. And again, there's no pilot-controlled weapons on this. You're not using this ship to fly it as combat. Maybe eventually we'll get the upper turret um, so that you can have a small firing arc. And I don't think it would be overpowered because the firing arc is literally just here. You've got basically 30 or 40 degrees you'd be able to shoot at an enemy with with that top turret. Anything below about here, you wouldn't be able to hit because the body of the ship would be in the way. And on the sides, you know, you don't really have that much to work with. Right, so we need to be careful with our descent rate here. Right, so there's the ground. Bring that speed back. Let's try to land right there. Come on, this is an explorer ship. Landing at night should be a thing you can do. So you'll see me, I brought that speed slider lower to kind of assist with not going too fast here. Land. 
expanded. Let's lower... Oh, I forgot I'm on the upper bridge. I don't think I can open the exterior doors from here. Yep, so we're going to have to exit here and go downstairs. So that's... I mean, I guess if you're the captain, you would just say to your pilot downstairs, lower the, lower the bridge, or whatever. Open the exterior, whatever command it's going to be. You can launch your ground vehicles out. They can do their exploration. Good to go. Like I said, this is definitely my favorite ship so far. As far as you know, again, I'm not going to be. You're not going to dogfight with this. This is your ship to do long-range exploration. I think they've done a good job with it. It needs some tweaks for sure. It's got some bugs for sure. But you cannot argue with this ship and its layout and just, you know, the med bay, all the potential with this ship is amazing. So if you don't have the Carrick, I recommend logging on the PTU, checking it out. You have access to all of this now free as a subscriber. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure you'll see a lot more Carrick videos in the future of people flying this lovely ship. It's a pleasure to fly and it's going to be great with a full crew. Six people is what it takes to crew this fully. Man all the turrets and you could carry more than that but you got nowhere for them to log out on. So that's kind of an issue. Let's close the exterior and launch. I'm going to keep playing with this thing. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream as I head up to orbit. That's beautiful. We've waited a long time for this ship, ladies and gentlemen, and it's finally in game. Worth the wait? I think so.